breaking news. The new Iron Man is a black woman. <laughs> so her name is Riri Williams. Uh, she was introduced a couple of issues ago or a little while ago in Invincible Iron Man, Volume 2, Number 7, or Issue 7 of that uh, rebooted series. And she's going to apparently be taking on the mantle. Now, the writer is saying it's a natural progression. And there's a line down here that uh, by Bendis, who Brian Michael Bendis is the writer of this comic. Uh, I have a little bit of a background with this. And I'm very well educated on this matter. Not really, but I'm going to read to you what he said. Some of the comments online, I don't think people even realize how racist they sound, he said. I'm not saying if you criticize, you're racist. But if someone writes, why do we need Riri Williams? We already have Miles Morales. That's a weird thing to say. It's kind of funny. I didn't read any of the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man books really at all. Um, just because, I, I, you know, I, it's, it's, it's not canon. Well, to the uh, mainstream continuity, and even though it was bogged down from being so continuity-based, I just... I, I couldn't get into it as much, and I stopped after a couple of volumes, but nonetheless, uh, you know, for all the people who are, are reacting to this negatively, they have their opinion, and they, they certainly are welcome to express it, but I think a lot of them are missing the bigger picture here, so let me break it down. Marvel is a company that wants to sell as many books as possible and get as much revenue as possible. Now, the way they do that, it's very simple create interest in their product and I can almost say with certainty or, yeah I, keep, I, I kept saying since certainty which isn't even a real word it was a little you know Peruvian slip I can almost say with certainty that if this was just another day in the hood with Iron Man the you know regular Tony Stark no one would react to this no one would care no one would it would just be another issue just over well, whatever same people that get it always will get it, and same people who don't want will not. And that's, you know, that that's telling of us that we only really get um, interested in something when there's a big change, because people want to, you know, they they need something that actually moves the story around. And I, I understand that, but at the same time, don't get surprised when a company realizes that and tries to change their product. Now we don't know if this is going to be permanent, and I don't think it will be. Might be a little, maybe two year, three year thing, and if it is, okay, fine. You know, it, it, there's nothing wrong with that. I want to see what happens. And for anyone who's got a problem with that, oh well. Um, because again, you, you you have a story here that I really think can be interesting. And one thing I like, uh, because we actually do have this with black culture in America, um, I like how in this issue the cover for it, where uh, she's standing with the Iron Man helmet. She has natural hair, which I, you know, I, I just, I love the look of that, especially knowing that, I mean, we've had such a controversy with it. It's, it, it just feels like Marvel is going out of their way to appeal to that audience, that demographic of minorities that don't read comics, and that's mainly women. I, I wouldn't be surprised if black women picked up this comic, just from that, and, that, and if they do, more power to them. Because I understand the underrepresentation. They only have Storm, and that's about it. <laughs> you know. So yeah, I, I just I think it will be interesting. I, I'm you know interested to see what happens. I want to, I I'm a, I'm gonna pick up this issue, the review of it maybe. I don't know. Um, you know. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.